How to recover gold from computer ice chips, the fastest and simplest way. In this video, you'll learn how to recover gold from computer ice chips using the fastest and simplest way. If you've got unwanted gold on your computer IC chips, then this video is for you. You'll learn how to recover gold from computer IC chips in just a few easy steps, and it'll be the fastest and simplest way to get rid of gold that you've ever tried. Don't miss out, watch this video today. Today we will focus on gold only on IC chips. I think this part has the most gold in the computer. Start by using a hot air gun to separate the IC chips from the computer motherboard and the old graphics card. It's important to note that this process can be dangerous as heat and toxic air from electronic circuit boards when heated and can cause serious injury if they come into contact with skin or eyes. Therefore, it's important to take proper safety precautions such as wearing gloves and goggles when working. Given the small amount of gold present in each chip and the potential environmental harm from the extraction process, it is not a cost-effective or environmentally responsible method for obtaining gold. Recycling e-waste through proper channels is a more sustainable solution. We will separate IC chips into two parts, a green circuit board that is separated from the ICE chip and the black compound part of the ice chip inside there are many small gold wires. We will use this piece to extract gold. In my experience, one kilogram of BGA type ice chips can yield around 7 to 12 grams of gold depending on the size of the ice chip. The procedure is not complicated. Bring the parts to boil with 98% sulfuric acid, temperature 90 degrees Celsius. It takes about 30 to 60 minutes depending on the size of the IC chips. How much gold is in IC chips? The amount of gold present in computer IC chips is very small, typically measured in millionths of an ounce. On average, a typical computer chip contains only about 40 to 800 parts per million ppm of gold, which equates to approximately 0.002 to 0.01 grams of gold per chip. The black compound is completely dissolved by sulfuric acid, leaving a dye chip with large amounts of gold wire attached and possibly fiber strands. Use water to clean the gold wire. Be careful of the chemical reaction of sulfuric acid and water. Wear protective equipment. Separating the fibers, then collecting the gold wire into a lump. Melt these gold wires and you will get 99.99% pure gold. You may need some time to collect the gold wire and isolate the unwanted parts. But it is considered the first step towards success. To smelt gold, I used a blowtorch gas torch butane with a small amount of powder first. For better smelting. This time extracting gold from old computer ice chips may not be much, but when compared to the weight of raw materials, I think it's very good. And if we sell larger processes, more materials. There is an opportunity for us to make money and profit from this work. I hope my video will be useful for everyone. But don't forget about safety and working with chemicals should be the first thing to consider. Thank you very much for watching the video.